this video is part of my video how I made my stream overlay um, so do give it a watch if that interests you don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the channel or this video and to follow me on social media at data pebble Hey there guys, welcome to a mini video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to create an animated border in After Effects. So let's get started. How to create an animated border in After Effects. How to select anywhere on the timeline, click new and then shape layer. You can always draw out the type of border that you want using the pen tool, but for the sake of this video, we're going to use the rectangle too because most borders are rectangular. Now click and drag out. Now we're going to go on over to the top of the screen and click stroke and choose a color we want for our border. I'm choosing pink because I like pink. You can choose your favorite color or the color of your choice for this border. Besides stroke is a number slider. You can increase the stroke size here by manually typing in the number that you want or dragging across the slider until you're satisfied with the size that it, it, it is at. We've got our gorgeous border now, but we're not really here for this fill color inside it. We want it gone. Open up the shape layer with this little arrow down here. Open up contents, open up rectangle, select fill and simply hit backspace to delete it. Now time to make it animated. You want to hit this little add button here and select trim paths open up trim paths you can see start end etc if you slide through start you can see there's a movement in your border on zero your border is fully present on 100 your border is fully gone let's hit the stopwatch next to start to create keyframes make sure that the little diamond on the side is also lit up blue and now we're going to set we're going to set start to 100 so that our border is fully gone. Now we're going to move across the timeline a little bit to where we feel like we would want our border to reappear. Hit the diamond to create a new keyframe and set our start to zero. If you hit play, it looks like this. Now we want to create a loop of the border. So we're going to scrub across the timeline till when we would like our, for our border to start disappearing again. And we're going to hit the diamond and still keep it at zero because we want it to start moving from now. If we set it to 100, see what happens. So yeah, we set it to zero. Then we move across the timeline for when we want it to have fully disappeared, hit our diamond and set it to 100. And let's hit play. To spice things up a little with the border, you can add some layer styles. You can, you can have some bevel and emboss, add some drop shadow, some gradient overlays, literally go crazy, go stupid, have fun. I'm gonna add some acid glow to mine because I like the way it looks. Anyway, I think this brings us to the end of this incredibly long video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you real soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on social media at Data Purple.